Good morning, Middle 2. This is Mrs. Yasmin, and inshallah, we are going to discuss the grammar lesson for today. Question tags. What are the question tags? They are short additions to the sentences asking for agreement or confirmation. So, if I have a piece of information and I would like to get sure of it, I need to use a question tag. The second question is, how can we form a question tag? How can we form a question tag? What do we need in order to form a question tag? We need an auxiliary, or what we call it, a helping verb, and a pronoun. We need an auxiliary, or a helping verb, and a pronoun. There is a rule that we must pay attention to. So kindly please pay attention to the following. If I have a positive sentence, if I have a positive sentence, so the question tag must be negative. The positive sentence takes negative question tag. Examine the following example. Mary is clever. Mary is clever. Isn't she? So the auxiliary here is verb to be, which is already found. And the pronoun or the subject pronoun. For Mary, I have to use she. So the question tag will be, isn't she? The second sentence, there was a lot of traffic. Wasn't there? There was a lot of traffic. Wasn't there? So here, the auxiliary is already found, which is verb to be, was. But because the sentence is positive, so the question tag should be negative. Wasn't there? Wasn't there? The third sentence. Jim should pass the exam. Jim should pass the exam. So here, also the models could be considered as auxiliaries. So I can use the model as a helping verb. But because the sentence is positive, the question tag should be negative. So Jim should pass the exam. Shouldn't he? Shouldn't he? What if I have a negative sentence? We use a positive question tag after a negative sentence. So, the negative sentence takes positive question tag. The negative sentence takes positive question tag. Examine the following example. Mary isn't late. So, here the sentence is negative and the question tag should be positive. Is she? Mary isn't late, is she? Another one? They don't like us. They don't like us. Do they? Another example? You haven't got a car. You haven't got a car. So here I have an auxiliary which is ready made here, which is haven't, and the sentence is negative. So the question tag should be positive. You haven't got a car. Have you? You haven't got a car. Have you? Okay, if I have a sentence that starts with let's. So the question tag here should be shall we? So any sentence starts with let's. The question tag should be shall we? Examine the following example. Let's go for a walk. Shall we? Let's go for a walk. Shall we? Let's have a cup of tea. Shall we? Let's have a cup of tea. Shall we? Let's watch TV. Shall we? Let's watch TV. Shall we? Pay attention to this sentence. Let us start the lesson. Let us start the lesson. So here it's not let's, it's let us. What's the difference between let's and let us? If we said let's, so we are making a suggestion. So let's watch TV. I mean that all of us to watch TV. But when I say let us start the lesson, so the listener is not included in the action. Again, when I say let us start the lesson, I am speaking to a person which is not going to be included in the action. Let us start the lesson.
Let us start the lesson. Here, it's not a suggestion. It's an order. So the sentence here is imperative. When I make an imperative sentence, the question tag must be, well, you. So here, let us start the lesson. Well, you. Let us start the lesson. Well, you. Again, as we said, when I have an imperative sentence, the question tag should be, well, you. And as we know, imperatives are orders. So when I am giving someone an order, I have to use the question tag, well, you. Examine the following examples. Open the door, will you? Another one. Don't smoke here, will you? Another sentence. Come early, will you? Don't stay up late, will you? What can I do when the subject of the sentence is I? Actually, the verb to be with I is am. And I cannot put am in the negative form because it doesn't contain a short form. It is am not. So I cannot say am it. So what shall I do? I have to replace am not with aren't because aren't is one form of verb to be which contains a short form. So when I say I am your friend, the question tag here should be aren't I? Another sentence, I am three years old, aren't I? Another one, I'm good at English, aren't I? I'm not late. Pay attention to this sentence. It's not positive. It is negative. So here, the question tag should be positive. So here I can use am because the question tag here is going to be am I? So I'm not late. Am I? Pay attention to this. Another rule that we have to pay attention to. Statements containing words such as neither, no, none, no one, nobody, nothing, scarcely, barely, hardly, hardly ever, seldom, are treated as negative statements. And they have to be followed by a positive question tag. So again, words like neither, no, none, no one, nobody, nothing, scarcely, barely, and so on, should be treated as negative. So when they are found in a sentence, this sentence is considered as a negative sentence and its question tag should be positive. Examine the following. No salt is allowed. No salt is allowed. So here it is a negative sentence and I have to put a positive question tag. Is it? No salt is allowed. Is it? Salt is going to take the pronoun it. That's why I use the question tag is it. Another sentence. Nothing was said. So here I have was as an auxiliary and nothing is going to be changed into the pronoun it. So nothing was said. Was it? Another sentence. Peter hardly ever goes to parties. Peter hardly ever goes to parties. Does he? Does he? I don't have an auxiliary here. But when the sentence is in the present simple tense, the auxiliaries needed are do or does. Because I'm talking about a singular noun, so I have to use does. Does he? I used he as a pronoun which is related to Peter. She has no money. Does she? She has no money. Does she? Again, this sentence is in the present simple. And I do not have any auxiliaries here. That's why I have to get one on my own. Only do or does are needed in the present sample. Because of the pronoun she, I have to use does. So, does she? Something else that we have to pay attention to. When the subject of the sentence is anyone, anybody, no one, nobody, none, neither, everyone, everybody, somebody, 
someone. We use the pronoun they as the subject of the question tag. So pay attention that all of these words are changed by the pronoun they. Examine the following example. I don't suppose anyone will volunteer. Will they? I don't suppose anyone will volunteer. Pay attention. The piece of information here is not I don't suppose. The information that I would like to get sure from is anyone will volunteer. So instead of anyone, I will use the pronoun they. And I have a model here which can be used as an auxiliary. So will they. Again, pay attention that anyone is found in the sentence, so the sentence is negative. That's why I put a positive question tag. Another sentence, no one would object. No one would object. Would they? I also have a model which can be used as an auxiliary, and no one will be replaced by the pronoun they. The attention that the sentence here also is negative because it contains no one. So the question tag should be positive. Neither of them complained. Neither of them complained. Did they? Again. And instead of neither, I will use the pronoun they. And the sentence is in the past. No auxiliaries is found, so I have to get one on my own, which is only did. In the past simple sentences, we only use did. The sentence is negative, that's why I put a positive question tag. Another example, everyone warned you. Everyone warned you, didn't they? Here, the sentence is not negative, it is positive. It contains the subject, everyone. Also, everyone is going to be replaced by the pronoun they. But because the sentence is positive, I will use didn't, didn't in the negative form. So the sentence is going to be, everyone warned you, didn't they? How can I give an answer for the question tag? Notice the meaning yes and no to a negative sentence. So pay attention to the following. You are not going out tonight. Are you? You were not going out tonight. Are you? Here, the sentence is negative, and I already used a positive question tag. But how can I answer to such a question? Actually, I don't need a complete answer. So, we answer only using yes or no. So, if I said yes, it means yes, I am going out. And if I said no, it means that no, I am not going out. So pay attention that your answer is not led logically matched to the question. Pay attention that your answer is going to be opposite to the question itself. Again, the question is, you are not going out tonight, are you? If you said yes, it means that you are going out. And if you said no, it means that you are not going out. So only yes and no are needed. No need to write a full sentence. Are you ready for some exercises? Add question tags to the following statements. Add question tags to the following statements. Kindly please pay attention with me. Number one, you are allergic to cats. You are allergic to cats. So here I have already made Auxiliary, which is are. I have only to pay attention if the sentence is positive or negative. It is positive. So are here is going to transfer or change into aren't. And the subject pronoun is already found, which is you. So the question tag will be aren't you? You are allergic to cats. Aren't you? Two. She lives near the bank. She lives near the bank. So I have already made subject pronoun, which is she. I can use it, but I don't have an auxiliary here. The sentence is present simple. So only do and does are needed for the present simple. Because of the pronoun she, I will use does. But because the sentence is positive, 
So I will use a negative question tag, which is going to be doesn't. So the answer will be she lives near the bank, doesn't she? She lives near the bank, doesn't she? Let's have the last example for today. Tom works at the hospital. Tom works at the hospital. I don't have a subject pronoun here, but I can change Tom into he. There is no auxiliary in the sentence, but because the sentence is present simple, I can use only do or does. He takes does. And because the sentence is positive, I'll change does into doesn't. So the answer will be Tom works at the hospital, doesn't he? Tom works at the hospital, doesn't he? I am going to send you a PDF for the answers of these exercises. So wait for the answers, but try to use your own mind in order to solve this exercise. Thank you so much.